In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect the FridgeTag 2 and FridgeTag 2L to a Mac or PC, download the report, save the report to a file, and read the information on the report. Every fridge tag is equipped with a USB cable attached that can be connected into a standard USB port. If it's a fridge tag 2L, the screen will show that it is actively generating the report. The fridge tag 2 screen goes blank and the report is generated nearly instantly. When the FridgeTag 2L report is complete, the screen will move to a check mark, as you can see, and the report will appear on screen. If the file is not on your computer screen, go to your Start menu and click, click Computer, and you will find it here with your hard drives. Now, by double-clicking the open folder, you find your reports. And it is a good practice to file the reports, so I suggest a left click on the first one, hold the shift bar down, and left click again. Then drag the two reports to your folder. If we open that folder, you'll see multiple reports stored by the automated file name, which includes the serial number of the fridge tag 2, and the date and time that the report was generated so that the top report in your file is always the most recent report. You must retain three years of reports to be CDC compliant. Now we can double click on the PDF report and we may want to increase the size of it. I change it to 85% to see on screen. At the very top, we see the serial number of the device in the report the date the report was generated, and importantly, the date this data logger was activated, which can be helpful when reviewing for recalibration. It also shows the alarm settings and that the logging interval is every five minutes on a FridgeTag 2L. Going from left to right, we see the current date. In the events column, we see actual times when the read button is pressed to check the high and low temperatures, and those must be checked twice a day. We also see the important column of average temperature, which in a refrigerator should be 5 degrees C or 41 degrees F. In a freezer, negative 18 degrees C or 5 degrees F. Here we see the information around low temperature recorded each day and that it was okay and above 2 degrees C. And here we see the information on the upper temperatures recorded each day. And we can see here we have four days of alarm temperatures. It was 20.1 degrees C for 12 hours and 7 minutes. And it happened just one minute after midnight. The far right hand side shows how long the external sensor was disconnected from the data logger, and we can see that it was 11 minutes today while we were generating the report. If it is disconnected for more than 15 minutes, the OK will change to an alarm, it will tell you the total duration it's disconnected, and it will tell you the time that the alarm was triggered. With the fridge tag 2L, you have a second set of data in the PDF, you'll see weekly graphs of all the information. And you can see in this past week that there were some high temperatures. This is useful if you're trying to root cause some alarms that are occurring. And if you need more data, close the PDF report and open the TXT report. When you grab the right hand side and scroll down on the TXT report, you'll see that you come to the daily temperature readings. We see year, month, day, and time of the reading. It stores every five minutes for 56 days, and you can see each temperature reading. 
There's also an out of limits column, which if you're looking for some alarm data, again, you go to the right and scroll down. And when you see an X, as you see here, when you're through downloading your reports, be sure to safely remove your fridge tag or fridge tag 2L from your PC. On this PC, we click this small arrow, choose safely remove hardware, and then choose the fridge tag 2L. Now that it says it's safe to remove the hardware, we can disconnect it from the PC or Mac, and it's ready to go return to your storage unit. Be certain when you do take it to the storage unit to listen for the click when you reattach the external sensor and wait a minute to view a current temperature on screen.